the sun goes down and you've got a blood trail to find, only one light can keep you from a sleepless night. Primo's Blood Hunter HD Blood Trailing Flashlight. Unlike ordinary flashlights, its color filtration technology reduces ground colors and pumps up the red with a brighter, more consistent beam. So instead of making your way home, you make every drop count. The Blood Hunter HD, only from Primo's. On a pretty good afternoon, we ended up seeing seven deer, one pretty good buck. Uh, too way too far to video, even if I'd have had my camcorder, but a nice deer, probably not a shooter, but I believe a uh, pretty good deer. So anyway, good afternoon. I heard, uh, thought I heard Jake or, Co or uh, Presley shoot, so Jake, Text me back, said he thinks he got two coyotes, so we're gonna go check with him in a minute. I want to show y'all something before I get away. This something's one of we had a company, a flashlight company, contact us through Facebook, uh, through Insta, YouTube, and Facebook too. So they wanted to send us a couple of flashlights. We'll see if I can turn this camera around and show you uh, right quick. This light, it's got a couple of pretty cool features. Hang on, let me check. Let me let me turn this camera around. All right, let's see if y'all can see this thing here. Flashlight made by Vast Fire. See it there, it's kind of hard to read. V-A-S-T-F-I-R-E. Pretty well made, got a solid steel housing. A uh, lot like a lot of the other good flashlights on the market. I don't know, maybe it's a knockoff of one of the big brands, but it seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna kind of show you, see if I can tell what the light's on. Yeah, you'll be able to see you've got a you got the red mode that supposedly is not supposed to alarm the game. You know, you see red lights used on the people in varmint hunting and that kind of stuff. Then you got another mode, the green. I don't know if you can see that on here. Let me let me turn the camera let me turn the light off on the camera right quick, see if it shows up better here. Alright, now maybe now maybe you see this green mode kind of shines. That's supposed to be also another one that doesn't alarm the game. That's one I, I kind of like to use the green when I'm walking to and from the stand in the morning or whatever. Just feel like it doesn't quite alarm the game as much. And then you've got the third mode. Let's see. It's got a little push button here on the end. The third mode is a UV. Uh, looks like on the camera it's picking up just like a regular light, but it's a it's a UV light that's supposed to highlight blood if you're blood trailing deer or something. I don't know. We'll try that. Maybe we'll, if, if Jake shot a coyote and we get down there and have to track it, maybe we'll try it out. But uh, sooner or later we'll try it. But it's still, it, even it gives you enough light to walk in and out of the woods with. So, all in all, a pretty good feature. Um, so I'll get the light on again. So, no, you see here, it's the, like I said again, it's a flashlight by Vast Fire. You can find it on Amazon if you search hunting light or Light, yeah, hunting light. You can find this light. I don't remember what the cost was. They sent it to us for us to test it out and try it on the video. We'll be trying it throughout the season. Y'all check it out. See if you're interested in it. You can watch for another video. We'll see if it's any good. I know already it does. Uh, it's a good little light for accessing the stand in and out in the dark in the morning. You don't want to shine a bright light. It's got a rechargeable battery that goes in the back right here. It comes with a charger too. So, um, Right, well, that's going to wrap up the video. If uh, Unless the boys got a Cody, I'll be back here shortly. If they did, if not, we appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of deer footage. Just a, we got a long deer season here in Mississippi, so you can expect to see some good footage later. Um, y'all, if, if I don't see you here again in a minute with some dead coyotes, we appreciate y'all watching. The next generation of Surefire tactical flashlights, powered by 123A lithium batteries, are here today. Each model features a high-performance LED and a micro-textured reflector that create a blinding 200-lumen beam of white light with two hours of tactical runtime. These single output lights are activated by a tactical tail cap switch, which makes them simple to operate in high-stress situations, where a surge of adrenaline can lead to loss of dexterity and tunnel vision. I'm a police officer. And believe me, solid training and simple gear are vital when you're in harm's way. This is a single output 6PX tactical with a tactical tail cap switch. Push for momentary on activation. You can also twist the tail cap for constant on. 
This light features a sculpted body, machined from high strength aerospace aluminum that's been hard anodized. It's extremely durable and can be securely inserted and easily removed from Surefire's V85A holster. Here's the G2X tactical flashlight. It has the same capabilities in hard anodized aluminum head as the 6PX tactical, but it features a nitrolon polymer body that makes it a little lighter in weight and a bit easier to hold with bare hands in cold weather. This is the G2ZX combat light. Like the G2X tactical, it has an aluminum head and a polymer body, but it features Surefire's combat grip design with step-down body and rubber grip ring. Why the special body? The combat grip is perfect for the Surefire flashlight technique. This light was designed with law enforcement in mind, and it's really ideal for any handgun flashlight technique. This syringe style technique is also useful without a handgun. Here's the all aluminum version, the Z2X, with its combat grip like the G2ZX, but this model has a bit more weight, which is something I personally like. It was based on Surefire's original Z2 combat light that was standard issue for the FBI. A simple counterclockwise twist disables a light so there can be no accidental activation during transport or storage, a feature all of these lights share. Rounding out Surefire's next generation of tactical flashlights is a 6PX Defender, which features a crenellated strike bezel. It's more for civilians who want a last line of defense in case a blast of overwhelming light is not enough to deter an attacker. This is a 200 lumen single output light and features a click type switch, which many civilians prefer. Just press for momentary on activation, press further to click constant on. Like every other light in this video, it easily fits in a Surefire's V85A holster. Surefire also makes dual output pro models that lead with a long running low output 15 lumen beam, followed by a high output 200 lumen beam. This non-tactical programming makes it great for everyday use or the great outdoors, where extended runtime and not blinding white light is often more crucial. Whichever Surefire tactical light you choose, you'll get intense, simple to activate white light that will enable you to separate friend from foe, overwhelm the dark adaptive vision of an aggressor, and lock onto your target. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.